Hello YouTube. Today I wanted to show you an experiment that I was actually able to build uh, and test. This is, in case you don't already recognize it, is a Polaroid Spectra. And for those of you who remember these things, they were pretty cool uh, Polaroid cameras from the 90s. Uh, this one has been modified however and it has been modified to take cut film cartridges like this these these old things that went in the back of like Graflex cameras and such um, to use this thing and also one of the, one of the cool things uh, when these cameras were new they also came with remote controls and there's the, the keypad. Back in those days, you had antennas. You would turn it on. There, this powers the camera. You wouldn't have this, of course, uh, in a standard built camera. And you could, uh, if I've done this right, all you gotta do is press that and nothing happens. Hold on. Okay, having corrected that problem remote control this is the base unit that's the remote unit and it's got a uh, pull out antenna and this one has a uh, an antenna that's wrapped around it you un un undo it like that to actually use it but back in the day when these were the coolest thing going you could set up your camera on a tripod press remote and it would shoot a picture just like that but as I said, I have modified this to take these type of cut film cartridges and they're set up to go right inside like that and for a little extra tightness because they are a little bit sloppy in there, stick a pencil in there to keep it tight. Now I've got, uh, if I think of it, I will put uh, the website that I got this idea from. It's not mine, it's not original. Um, but I'll put a link in the notes to actually do this. But I wanted to show you how well it worked. Um, when you have one of these loaded with film, film goes in like this. This is a view of my backyard. It's just a generic view. Now the resolution isn't that great. Um, this actually came out as a negative. I'm having a little trouble uh, getting direct positive um, photo paper from Harman. Uh, I've been promised it for a month and haven't seen it yet but be that as it may I had some regular photo paper which when it's used in place of film creates a negative. So I took my negative image, put it into my uh, big old box camera, and I did a video about making that. It's called a camera E4E, I think is how it's said. And I took a picture of this negative, and that creates a positive. Now this is really terrible. This is very poor resolution um, because I was working kind of in a hurry, and I was working with just not enough good light. But I did get a positive image. I got a couple of them. I did it a couple of times. I got two positive Im images from my negative. I actually have two negatives here. And this was just a cool experiment. Um, why, you ask, would someone take the time and the trouble to take a 90s camera and convert it to use 60s film technology? Well, I don't have a good answer. I did it because it looked cool and I wanted to try it. Um, really, there isn't much beyond this I wanted to show you. Um, if you want to try this, there is only one detail you have to keep track of. Um, is There's a tab in here. You have to press. That has to drop so that 
when you put the film cartridge in and you put the pencil in and you draw back the dark slide to take the picture um, <clears throat> you have to have that little thing depressed that makes the camera think it's closed and ready to fire so that when you press oops when you press the button it'll actually shoot out a picture although I worked with the remote because I uh, I didn't want to um, move it at all uh, the trick with doing this is that you have to shield the uh, sensor the sensor uh, sensors right here just above the viewport and you have to reduce the amount of light to keep that shutter open long enough to expose the film paper properly uh, if you don't it, it'll just snap open and closed uh, according to what the computer the microprocessor tells it it should be uh, so you get you know a quick shutter response and you'll get no image at all and I used uh, a combination of neutral density filter pieces and a little piece of uh, black electrical tape to reduce the light far enough so that I could get uh, a minimum of a second of open shutter so that I could get some kind of an image recorded uh, I, this is dangling here I don't know what this goes to this was just part of the remote control and this is a stock remote control it was meant to be with this camera I this must have been for I don't know what uh, some other option that I don't happen to have um, but I wanted to share that with you it's it's cool I'm uncertain of its artistic value it uh, was just a, a neat thing I built was not particularly difficult uh, it does take some internal work um, <clears throat> but the instructions were pretty easy to, to follow and, and pretty straightforward and if you're interested in doing something that probably no one else you know is going to even bother trying this is kind of a, a cool project so again these are my original negative images because this is straight uh, photo paper not direct positive paper which is what I wanted I just don't have any and I was able to take those and create these poor quality uh, in, um, positive images and as I said before they are the poor quality that they are because I was working with very poor lighting and I was kind of in a hurry um, but I just thought that thought I'd throw that out there uh, these are these are these old Polaroid Spectra system cameras are pretty easy to find on eBay. They're real cheap. I think I probably paid more for the remote control than I did for the camera. The camera probably I paid five bucks for it maybe. Um, and really that's it. And I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was kind of a cool thing. Um, something to do when you can't think of anything better to do. So until next time. Oops.